makes the sturgeon special besides the fact that they're cute. <laughs> uh, sturgeon are special because, you know, they're, they're an integral part of the ecosystem. They're also special because they're an ancient fish that are long lived. So um, you'll see some fish that are um, up to 100 years old. And um, just the fact that they're that long lived, they're sort of like humans in a way. They have a lot of, uh, you know, human characteristics. The fact that they, you know, take some 20 years in some cases to, to be able to spawn and then they live until they, a typical human would live to. And, um, you know, and just their features, they're very, um, you know, they're very ancient looking and, and neat looking. And they also kind of evoke a lot of emotion in their facial features and they have great emotion in their eyes and, and their, you know, just the way they move around. And sometimes when they're in a tank, they'll come up to you and, and, and they'll let you pet them on the nose, you know, and so they're just very, uh, very neat creatures. The sturgeon is an ancient fish. They have evolved very little since they appeared about 200 million years ago. In spite of their distinctive looks and massive size, sturgeon can grow to be 9 feet long and may weigh more than 300 pounds. Sturgeon are often called cute, friendly, and gentle. The sturgeon is truly a river fish. It needs the rocky, gravelly bottom and swift flow of a river to spawn, but it likes to swim in big water too, if it can get to it. For the resident sturgeon of the Menominee River, the border-forming river between Wisconsin and Michigan's Upper Peninsula, getting to big water, Lake Michigan, is a big problem. There are five dams between the lake and the sturgeon's historic spawning grounds at, you guessed it, Sturgeon Falls, about 82 miles upstream from Lake Michigan. For the sturgeon to thrive, they have to be able to make the round trip from lake to home river and back again. But they can't without some help from us. The type of fish passage that you design for a sturgeon is a lot different than a type of fish more like a salmon or something that's more active that can swim up different types of fish passage. So we have to keep that in consideration with the design of the fish passage that we are passing sturgeon, which is a different species that, like I mentioned before, there isn't a lot of homework done on how to attract them into the right areas. Just like salmon, sturgeon have a home river they return to to spawn. But unlike salmon, they don't go there to die and they are not athletic like salmon. Sturgeon can't jump on fish ladders. So we have to build a way for them to get around the hydroelectric dams on the Menominee River so they can make that round trip from river spawning grounds to Lake Michigan and back again. How do you get a sturgeon around a dam? Well, you build them an elevator for their upstream trip and you make them a water slide to get them downstream. At the Menominee and Park Mill dams at Marinette, Wisconsin, sturgeon will get a ride in an elevator and get a thorough checkup by fish biologists before getting a truck ride upriver where they can continue their journey. Once at their destination, they can finally find love in their ancestral spawning grounds, making more baby sturgeon that will continue the long line of this ancient fish. Offspring and returning adults headed downstream will take a quick trip through a tube in the wall of the dam so they can make their way to the big water of Lake Michigan just a mile away.